Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Michelle, and we are... Cruising Together. <laughs> We just started our channel. We're from the Inland Empire between San Bernardino and Palm Springs. And I work for a major utility company in California. And I work for a school district doing HVAC. We have two adult children, Jacob and Austin. And uh, about 10 years ago, in 2003, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, I beat it, I'm still a survivor after almost 10 years, or over 10 years now. And uh, at the time, after everything was kind of said and done, we decided that we were going to try to retire early and um, hit the road and do some traveling. We weren't sure what kind of traveling, but we knew we wanted to do something exciting. Just remember that tomorrow's never promised, and so we wanted to take advantage of the days that we have. We started following YouTube uh, after the 10 year, well, not after 10 years, probably about five years after she was diagnosed and uh, uh, following KYD and different full-time RVers, we were looking at if this is a possibility that we can go out and uh, make this a living, a uh, full-time living. Yeah, so the housing market in 2022 was so good, we decided we were gonna do it earlier than originally planned. Uh, so we sold our house and we bought um, our F-350 dually uh, Big Betty White and we bought our um, 2020 Solitude um, 375 res we named Goose and we became um, full-timers with our 80 pound Basset Hound Harvey and so we hit the road to see the US and in January of 2023 uh, we left and we went to um, Air, or Lake Havasu and we went to the Escapers Bash we had a lot of fun there um, you have a lot of fun there. Had a lot of fun. It was it was an every night thing. We were worn out worn after out. after the bash. We were just it was every night, either the 80s or uh, we it was had 90s, the 90s, the 90s. Yeah, yes. then we had we were doing grunge. Um, <laughs> so I went out and bought a Nirvana T-shirt, and uh, I think one night I had like thousands and thousands of steps on my Fitbit. <laughs> Um, so learned to play pickleball. Yes, pickleball. We learned to play pickleball. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and then Dave hurt himself, so we haven't been able to play since. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> anyway, um, after that, we went to Emerald Cove in um, in Earp, California, right on the Colorado River. It was beautiful there. Um, we had a lot of fun. There were uh, donkeys, little yeah. donkeys. Yes, yeah, so and our dog Harvey, 80, 80 pound basset hound just wanted to go and play with them. The babies were okay with it, but the mamas and dad, no, they didn't want any part of it. Uh -uh. But we, we got a picture, you'll see a, a picture of him where the, the baby wants to give him a kiss. Um, at the end of February, uh, we got a call from our youngest son, Jakey, um, and uh, he had a lump on his neck, so he was worried and, and he needed to go find out, get a biopsy and make sure that it was nothing. So we, we went back home um, which wasn't very far away, but we went back home and uh, luckily everything was good. Um, praise God. Uh, he's, he's totally fine. It was nothing. Um, but we had to go back for our wedding, uh, our son's wedding, um, actually his reception. He got married in 2020. His wedding was um, originally scheduled for April 6th of um, 2020. And of course, two weeks before his wedding, all you know what hit the fan and so um, he was not able to have his big wedding but he did get married in the backyard of his in-laws it was a beautiful little ceremony um, but he decided finally that the coast was clear and they wanted to have their their reception so we went had to be back in April anyway for the reception so we just stayed when we went back in February and uh, we went to the wedding and it was beautiful and um, Beautiful venue, nice yes. small venue. It fit perfectly for the wedding and for the guests that were there. And uh, you'll see some uh, pictures and videos from that. Yes. Okay. So after the wedding, we hit the road finally on April 12th, and we've traveled. Um, we're on the coast of Oregon now. We're in Newport, um, but our first video is going to be the beginning when we left Cali or Southern California, and. Uh, 
we went to we went up the grapevine and went on our way to Hanford we saw a little bit of the spring bloom you see some of that it's really pretty um, and the camera doesn't do it justice of course and uh, so we went to Hanford to a place called Rancho Not So Grande <laughs> it was a harvest house just for the night to kind of cool off and relax on our um, drive up the coast or up to um, Northern California the next day so what would you think of Rancho Not So Grande I liked it, the fact that he gave us the tour and uh, we got to do some wine tasting from uh, his berries that were homegrown there. And uh, I, I don't like wine, but I like fruit wines and that's what he did. He made wines out of the fruit he grew there and they were actually pretty good. Yeah, then we, we went and picked strawberries and well, that was probably wrong on the farmer's part because he said, go ahead and eat some <laughs> while you're picking. So I believe I probably ate. 20 of them while I was picking <laughs> but they were very good very juicy very sweet and there were three types of them and it was it was really good I really enjoyed it Harvey loved walking through the blueberries and uh, you'll see a picture of him where he's standing in uh, the orchard uh, just enjoying himself and that was that was a great first stop for a harvest host I thought yeah it was it was nice and everyone was super nice i get a little nervous because you know you never know what the people are going to be like they may you know but he was super nice and we ended up buying some wine and of course the strawberries and then we bought he also um raised and butchered chicken so we bought some fresh chicken meat and we bought some jam that he made and oh we bought a blueberry pie that he, they made and and we uh we thoroughly enjoyed that pie. Who was the first original owner of the house? Oh yeah, the house that he lived in um, was actually owned by Gottschalk, the guy who owned the Gottschalk's grocery stores. Um, so he, there was a lot of history there too. It's pretty cool. Um, so from there we um, hit the road towards Northern California. Our next day was uh, near Marysville, California. We stayed at um, Lake of the Springs Thousand Trails. Um, it was really pretty. We came in lots of um, greenery and forest and we kind of went down into the canyon and that's where we camped um, there was a lot of wildlife there huh yeah constantly coming into our site yeah. every day it didn't matter if Harvey's bed was there they went they'd sniff it out and they just walked mm -hmm. you'll see pictures of deer. them the, the yeah. deer that they they just walked down and it was their home yeah and then there was a woodpecker um, we called Woody and he was like pecking out the tree the whole time we were there like every day all day long um, and I got some video of that and then there were um, some little I'm not sure what kind of birds they were like but they had blue on them so I don't know blue jay or bluebird but um, they came and sat on the picnic tables and they would sneak food right off your plate if you let them um, and then of course the deer so um, and the deer didn't face Harvey at all he no. he walked out with the deer and he'd be like oh hi what's up big dog <laughs> He'd walk right up towards them, just he wouldn't even acknowledge that they're there on on his mountain. He thought it was his, but it was actually just, you'll see like 15 to 20 of them just walking through. Yeah, and uh, and when we first got there, um, we found a really great spot, uh, right nestled in the wood, um, but enough where you could look out almost every window and not see anything, um, any other RVs or anybody. Um, and Harvey, he was so worn out after the drive. Um, yeah, um, so we, um, our lake, the, there is a lake there, um, Lake of the Springs, but our lake was closed. Yeah, they're doing, yeah. they're doing a valve repair at the bottom of the dam, so they got to redrain it to, uh, get it fixed, so it's going to take a little while for them to do, so. Um, we, um, it was supposed to rain about a day or two after we got there, so we made quick to go to, um, Lake Collins, the nearest, next nearest lake, which was about a mile away, it wasn't very far at no. all. No. And um, we went there and uh, we sat on the lake for about an hour and then the clouds came in and we were like, okay, it's too cold to sit out here now. All right. Lay down. Lay down. 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 <laughs> down. So we packed up and then as we were driving from the spot, the sun came back out. So we went over to their little store and they have ice cream there. So we got some ice cream and Harvey got his own little scoop 
He loved it, right? Yeah, yeah. You'll see him licking it up. He's a oh, he just loves his ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Um, then uh, I think the next day or so, we went to Nevada City for lunch um, on the river. It was a cool little place, and it was um, overlooking the the water coming down from the snowfall. Um, and uh, that was a cool little town, Nevada yeah. City. Oh, and didn't you say something about Motley Crue? Oh yeah, yeah. The the theater there was uh, one of the oldest theaters in California. And uh, we'll show you a little clip, but uh, or the bill ticket for Motley Crue that played there. I think 1981, you said. Yeah, tickets are like four dollars, but it's a small, small venue. It maybe hold maybe a hundred people, but yeah. I think it was back in 1981. Yeah. yeah. And then we drove over to Grass Valley. We didn't get out in Grass Valley. It was really busy there, but there was a lot of really cool old time buildings and stuff. A lot of history there. They're redoing it. Yeah. They're redoing two blocks of it, it looked like. Yeah, Maybe yeah. more deco. So at Lake of the Springs, we met Sandy and Jesse. Yeah, they were. They pretty much gave us the, the what to do around town and uh, to go see the Bullard Dam and mm -hmm. the Grass Valley and mm -hmm. the Nevada City. So we really appreciated them. And then they took us to breakfast uh, to a great place and you'll see the video of that where it's snowing while we're eating lunch. Yeah, we had a really good time with them. They're super nice. They live in the area and uh, and they actually have a, an annual site there up in the in the upper area. So it was really neat. We after it rained and everything we kind of got like um, what do you call it? Antsy. Yeah, antsy. So we uh, hopped in the truck. Harvey was ready to go and we went to a farmer's market we had um, seen a sign for earlier in the week um, and uh, that was kind of fun it was a tiny little i mean they had maybe what 10 little little things but everybody uh, knew everybody yeah, everybody knew everybody <laughs> yeah and uh what did we get there it was so good the cherry cayenne cherry cayenne cherry jelly jelly oh, yeah really good homemade homemade jelly it was almost tasted like it was made with maraschino cherries but yeah. it was made with cherries off the lady's tree she made everything herself and then they had the cowboy jelly or cowboy candy, which was like a, pineapple. like a relish, right? It was like pineapple jelly with chunks of jalapeno in it. Yeah. Really good. It's good. Yeah. We made chicken with it from the Hanford place, um, the harvest host. We made, took that chicken and put that jelly on it. It was pretty good. Um, I liked it a lot. So then we went to the um, Bullard's Bar Dam amazing i i mean the pictures we're going to show in the video it doesn't do it justice i think in the video we go up one side i show you the forest on the dam side and then when we come back i show you the reservoir on the water side um but it was really pretty up there huh yeah i really liked it yeah it was amazing what it would have taken to build that because it, it's tall it's very tall mm -hmm. and uh it holds a lot of water and uh, but it just amazes me thinking back in history of the individuals who built it and constructed it. It was mm -hmm. just an awe. You're just in awe when you see it. Yeah. So from there, um, we're gonna head up the coast uh, or head up Northern California a little bit more. Um, I believe from there we're going to weed. Weed. Yep. We <laughs> well, we ended up in weed overnight. We went to uh, a <laughs> harvest house. So harvest house bar yeah so we'll have more of that in the next video that great pizza there yeah <laughs> but right now i'm going to show you a picture um i miss my babies so much and uh my youngest son jacob went to a dodger game and uh before the dodger games for those of you that don't know they have um, announcers that are out in the outfield area and um, all the people walking around behind them, you can see the people. Um, and so I told Jake, run over and say hi to me. So he did, he was on TV and uh, it just made me so happy to see him. So we'll close out with a picture of him doing that and we'll see you in the next one.